This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this video tutorial, I'll illustrate the differences between a hold frame and a freeze frame and how to create both. This clip is from Standard Films. They specialize in doing extreme sports, and I'm grateful to them for sharing this clip. A mad fool flying down the face of a mountain. Wouldn't it be cool if right here, as he leaves the ground, trailing a cloud of snow, we freeze frame it? Well, to do that, select the clip. That's where most effects start. Select the clip, put the playhead on the spot that you want to freeze, and we have one of two options. Well, actually, there's three. We could go up to the Modify menu, go down to Retime, and select Hold. What that does is it puts a two-second hold frame into the clip. Look at that style, and he's back to flying again. Oh, not a dry eye in the house. You want to change the hold frame, grab this thumb right here and drag left or right to make it longer or shorter, depending upon what your needs are. If you need to reset the clip, go back to Modify, go down to Reframe, and select Normal. Perfectly OK, and I never use it. <laughs> That's a better way. So let's find the spot that we want to freeze right here and click this magic retiming menu. And when we do, we have all the options that are in the Modify menu, except much closer to the timeline. And we're going to select Hold, and there's our Hold clip. The keyboard shortcut is Shift-H, and to reset is Shift-N for normal. Shift-H. So that's a hold frame. The cool thing about a hold frame is that wherever the clip moves, the hold frame moves with it. But the problem is that wherever the clip moves, the whole frame moves as well. What happens if I want a standalone piece of media, say to bridge an awkward edit, which I have all the time when I edit my webinars, or I want to create an open which has still frames from a variety of scenes throughout the, the presentation. Hold frames won't work. So instead, I put the playhead on the frame that I want to freeze. Right there, get him past that sunspot and type Shift F. Shift F does a match frame back to the browser. Shift F matches the in, matches the out, and matches the position of the playhead. Then type Option F, Option F, and it edits the frame under the playhead as a still frame into the timeline. So now when I play this, he freezes and remains frozen until the end of that clip. Now, if I were to have the clip end here, unlike the hold frame, which pushes the, the shot down, the underlying shot continues running, so there's a disconnect. But a really good use of a freeze frame is the dramatic soap opera Fade to Black, where our hero does something significant, music sing, Fade to Black run commercial. It's, oh my goodness, it be, it's, it's an archetype of how stuff gets done. The other cool thing is this is a standalone clip. I can grab it and drag it wherever I want. Keyboard shortcut, Shift F to do the match frame, Option F to edit a still frame under the playhead into the timeline. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 300. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.